Hello, I was once asked to do some uh, Java crack me. So today we'll be doing that. But I will not focus on actually solving a crack me, but uh, what I will do, I will uh, use a tool that maybe normally is not associated with doing uh, Java crack me's. And mainly I will be using Radari 2. So as we know, Radari 2 is a uh, native disassembler, but actually Radar2 can also uh, yeah, do Java. So let's see how we can do it. I have uh, prepared a simple uh, Java crack me. So if we just try to open it in Radari, we'll get, uh, well, it will open, but actually it will open as we can see um, just uh, as a binary file. And as we know, Jar is a simple uh, zip file with a different extension then we can see this uh, PK standard header for the zip file. So we have to do it a bit differently. So let's just uh, quit Radari2 and we will provide a protocol for Radari so that Radari knows that we want to look at the inside of this jar file. So we'll just use a jar and then we can use uh, Java crack me jar. And now it didn't open the file, instead it just listed what's the content of this file. So we see that we have a meta int folder, we have manifest mf, and we have crack me class inside this jar. So now if we want to open just this crack me, we can also do it by specifying an index. Crack me jar and with two columns we provide two. And now Radari will open this file and we can just uh, show it. Sorry, no, this way. So we can see Radari is printing uh, opcodes for Java. So it's not uh, uh, regular binary. It's like this virtual machine for Java P code. And we can see there's like a load, invoke special, and we can even see all the methods that this um, class contains. If we like press underscore, we can see uh, this is the, all the symbols there are, so we can just filter by main and we can see we have a sim crack me main function. We can go there and we can see a standard Java uh, yeah, opcode that yeah, I guess we can now analyze. And this is very simple crack me. Uh, if we just look what's going on, we like print some hello crack me string. We print say the magic words and then we get a string read line and then we store it then we invoke length we compare with 19 hexadecimal and if it's uh, if it's equal then we uh, jump through this part which is just printing nope and invoking yeah, printing and returning and if we did pass it then so the length is correct then we do what we load some this is the key string and we pass it also with this load one, which is, we can see here, this is our input. So we load the, uh, this, is the this is the key, we load our input and we call this crack mix or with key function. Let's just for a moment uh, not go there and we see what's going down later. And if we exit this function, we call get bytes we call encode on base64 encoder and then we convert to string and then we compare equals. So basically this is our result, this string and the result is that we need to, we need to provide such input that when it's sort with this is the key and convert it to base64 will give us this result. So we can actually uh, find out what is this um, input that we need to give. So let's just switch to IPython for a moment. And let's just uh, create a few things for us. Um, so let's just search for this string. We have it here. Okay, let's just copy it here. Okay, let's just import base64, let's import um, iter tools and our key also 
we need our key and the key was this is the key okay so this is our key okay and let's paste it there so now we need to make sure we can uh, find out our input so first we need to decode the b64 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 decode our input so we have those bytes okay and now we need to sort them so and with this is the key as a key so we can do it in one liner uh, so let's just at the end join we want characters so one character will be already in a form of byte so we don't need to convert the other will need to convert to int so we have this for x y in zip will zip both inputs so the first input will be l and the second one will be the key but the key is shorter than our input so we'll cycle it so basically uh, we will if we'll reach the end the characters will be taken from the from the beginning so iter tools cycle key okay now we need to close all the parent all the parentheses and if i haven't done a mistake we got our input so basically radar 2 can do java so let's just see if it actually works so if we quit radar 2 oh we got some sec faults we need to find out and maybe report it why it happened uh, but then if we call java jar and java crack me say the magic words radar 2 can do java and yay we got a correct password to this simple java crack me so that's all i hope you like it uh, so basically the idea was to show that radar 2 can be used to to actually analyze java we don't have to use any external tools of course some specific tools for java might be um, better might have some more advanced features but if we only have radar 2 and uh, don't want to install anything we can still do java crack me and analyze and uh, find out what's the correct input to to attract me so yeah so that's all for today i hope you like it and if so please like and subscribe and see you next time bye bye